all aboard this week's SVFL Extra. You think Benteke's miss was bad? Well turn away now as it's about to get embarrassing as we dig out the worst misses from the archives. Scottish football legends who bring the dead ball to life. We take a look at the ultimate nutmeg from Motherwell's lone star, Lionel Ainsworth. We'll be here every Monday reviewing all the best chat from the previous week. Now after Christian Benteke's horrific miss for Belgium against Ivory Coast in midweek, we want to know what's the worst miss you've seen at a game. We did a video a few weeks ago of our top five misses that we think are the worst. And number one was Peter Van Vossen's miss for Rangers against Celtic in the mid-90s. Uh, Celtic tried to do an offside trap and it doesn't really work, um, leading George Alberts and Van Vossen two on one with, I think it's Stuart Kerr, Celtic goalie. Um, Alberts tees him up, gives him an open goal and from about eight yards out, he absolutely skies it. There's loads to choose from. If you talk about Stevie Crawford for Dunfermline against Aberdeen, uh, Steve Lovell for uh, Aberdeen at Parkhead against Celtic, or even that horrific miss by Neil McCann against the Hyvies for Rangers. Didier Gatz against Hearts, for instance. He just uses the wrong foot to kick the ball. If he kicks it with his left foot, he probably scores, but instead he tries to do it outside of the right, um, and he just scuffs it. Yeah, there's also Nigel Hasselbank, um, who's had one or two unfortunate misses for the Saints. He scored yesterday in the Cup against Rafe, so that's all that really matters. I think it's one of the things we've got quite a lot in the archives to look at. So let us know what you think is the worst miss by commenting below, and as always, next week we'll use the best chat for the show. In last week's show, we asked you who were the best free kick takers in Scottish football. And the overwhelming favourite with the YouTube community was Shinsuke Nakamura. Andy Wolfman, Mr Zake67, if that's how you pronounce it, and uh, who else, others such as Ross Hamilton, all referred back to goals that the Japanese international scored. And no wonder he scored them for fun in Europe against Man United, in the league against Kilmarnock. They were quite like another goal, just to be sure of things. Nakamura! And Dundee United. Nakamura! Trust him to provide that spark! And he can even score off a wedding cake and on a bus not too dissimilar from that one behind me. For you and Weaver, Dougie Emery's free kick for Inverness at Tynecastle against Hearts is one of the best that he's ever seen. Despite not being a Hibs fan, Mr DJ Football reckons Steck Ryden is still quite the prominent free kick taker. His 100th goal for Hibernian against Kilmarnock was a superb free kick which bends into the top corner from roughly 35 yards out. For ZZ Taylor ZZ, again, I'm not sure it's his real name, he reckons Sammy Klingon is also quite the marksman. His free kick for Kelly against Celtic earlier on in the season, an unusually hot day in September, is for him one of the best goals of the season so far. This week's comment of the week winner is Mr. Zio Light the second. For him, the greatest free kick taker he has seen, Shane McKinnon, who famously scored a hat trick of free kicks for Dundee United against Kilmarnock in 1987. Well done, Mr. Zio Light the second, if that's your real name. We'll be in touch with your copy of Football Manager. Finally, Declan Cleland and Michael Gillespie both went for Lee Griffiths' free kick, which wasn't, against Hearts last season. We're quite spoiled for goals in this weekend's Premiership, despite it being a Scottish Cup weekend. In the two games to take place in Edinburgh and Kilmarnock, we had 12 goals. Sadly, no, only one really stood out, and that was Lionel Ainsworth's from Motherwell against Hibs. Dominic Jack thinks Clyde's fourth goal in their 4-0 win against Elgin last week deserves a shout out. And no wonder, it was a great team move which was finished by Gordon Young. Don't forget, speaking of goals, that the Golden Love competition for February is live just now. Closes on Friday at noon and you can vote by commenting on the YouTube video which is available there. That's all for this week's SPFL Extra. But remember, stay involved in the chat by commenting below and never miss a goal again by subscribing for free here.